Hi, what's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I'm coming to you guys with a full glute workout. So it's gonna be from start to finish, my full routine. Now, if you've been following me or might have seen a video I posted probably like six weeks ago, and it was on a few reasons why your glutes might not be growing. Um, three of those reasons could be mobility, uh, glute activation, and mind muscle connection. So it could be that you're not using those three things. And so today I'm going to take you through my full workout on what it looks like from start to finish, starting with some mobility, some glute activation, and then I'll take you through the full workout. Now, before we get started, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. If this is content you'd like to see, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you know what I'm posting and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so I already did about five minutes on the treadmill just to get the blood flowing, um, get a little sweat going. And so now we're gonna jump right into mobility. You wanna be a little bit warmed up before you get started. I have really tight hip flexors, so I gotta make sure that I warm everything up and open it all up. That way I'm getting a good full range of motion during my workout. with the leg swings now. I don't even know what these are called. <laughs> what do you call these? Fire hydrant, standing fire hydrant. Whatever it is, it burns, especially your hip flexors. more fire hydrants, but on the ground, of course. So these ones you wanna slow down just a little bit more. Now for me specifically, and I know for a lot of people, um, when you have super, super tight hip flexors, one, you wanna properly warm them up to prevent injury, but two, your hip flexors can take over, and that means your glutes aren't working. So really make sure your hip flexors are warmed up and relax. And get in our lunge position right in here. Really get a good stretch in here. Go down, rock it back. Now we are done with mobility and we're gonna move into glute activation. Um, you see I'm sweating already. You should be properly warmed up before you jump into your workout. So majority of us sit most of the day, so our glutes tend to be turned off. So you wanna make sure that they're fired up and turned on before you try to work them. We start with a slow side shuffle step, and then we're gonna go into some goblet squats, but we're only gonna squat down halfway, and we're not gonna stand all the way up just to keep them engaged the entire time. All right, now we're gonna go into some glute bridges. Just because I'm gonna be doing hip thrust, so I kinda of wanna prepare for the movement that I'm gonna be doing. So, right on the ground, come up, nice squeeze, drop it down. Making sure you're pushing through your heels the entire time. So with, um, when I'm doing glute activation, I like to do slow, steady movements, just making sure that you're keeping the tension on your muscles the entire time. So just slow it down. No like fast reps and just trying to bang it out and get through it. So slow it down, really feel that squeeze, that whole mind-muscle connection. So focusing on every rep. So now 
now we're jumping into the workout where you're gonna start with the hip thrust. Now, if you're trying to build your glutes and you are not doing hip thrusts, I don't know what the heck you're doing. Like this is the number one exercise for building your glutes. Got some 45s on, I'm actually gonna start with a band. So make sure you're driving through the heels the entire time. It helps if you put your toes up while you're doing the movement. Chin tucked the entire time. None of this. <laughs> Do about 15 reps, then pause at the bottom for a second, and then I'm gonna go right into going right into B stance hip thrust, which will be one foot planted, the other one just kind of resting on their heel. So it's almost doing like doing a single leg, but this foot down here gives you some extra stability when you're lifting heavy. Oh, the burn. All right, so I'm actually gonna keep the weight the same for all four sets, um, just because I'm doing about 31 reps. So for some of you, this might be too heavy, and others, this might be too light. So um, just make sure you adjust the weight for you. So now we're at the V squat machine. If you don't have a V squat, um, you might possibly have a hack squat machine at your gym. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go reverse and we're gonna go single leg. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we are moving over to dumbbell goblet squats. So we're actually not gonna stand all the way up just to keep the tension on our glutes the whole time. So I'm gonna go down as low well as I can, but at the top position, I'm not gonna stand all the way up and squeeze, so. We're gonna superset right into some deadlifts. But with these ones, you wanna stand all the way up. <sighs> you want to put that back? Boo -boo. All right, so now we are at the hip abduction machine. Um, if you don't have this, you can always put some resistance bands around your knees and sit down. Um, but there's so many different variations of this where it'll hit different parts of your glutes 
or your hips too. When you sit all the way back, you're gonna feel this in a different position or a different parts of your muscle versus you sitting up here, sitting up straight, or leaning forward. These all hit different parts. Um, right now, I'm gonna just sit all the way back. That's because this is probably the hardest position to go into. And I'm gonna up the weight. Hi. Sit in. All right, so we're gonna finish this out with a quick burnout. I'm gonna do a hundred reps of leg press. Now, like I mentioned before, the way you position your feet is actually important because most of the time you're gonna feel leg press in your quads. So I'm gonna position them a little bit higher and I'm gonna turn my toes out just slightly. So I'm gonna get most of this in my hamstring and my glutes. Now with this one, you have to really focus on pushing through the heel and focusing on your glutes, that mind muscle connection. Otherwise, you're just gonna feel this all in your legs. <laughs> so I pretty much like to go until I can't go anymore. And then I take a quick like five second pause and then keep going. Mm. Ah! All right, so that concludes today's glute workout. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for sticking around for those who made it to the end of this video. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions on anything that I did today. Hit that post notification bell so you know what I'm posting and don't forget to subscribe.